Did you know that your subconscious mind makes over 35,000 decisions every day? Many of these decisions are influenced by factors you aren't even aware of. From the way you perceive others to the choices you make in everyday life, psychology plays a profound role. Consider this. A mere five-second exposure to a logo can significantly influence your perception of a company. Studies show that people exposed to fast food logos are more likely to choose unhealthy food options. These subtle cues shape our behavior in ways we often don't realize. In this journey through the fascinating world of human behavior, we'll uncover hidden biases that affect our judgments, explore the power of social influence, and reveal how simple cues can prime our thoughts and actions. Get ready to discover surprising insights that will change the way you see yourself and others. Join us as we delve into psychology facts that challenge common beliefs and offer practical strategies for navigating the complexities of human behavior. Are you ready to uncover the secrets behind the decisions you make every day? Let's begin. Chapter 1. The Invisible Strings – How Subconscious Cues Shape Our Actions Did you know your subconscious mind makes decisions for you every day? Most of the time, you aren't even aware of it. Subliminal messages are all around us, influencing our thoughts and actions. For example, a study by Yale University found that people holding a warm cup of coffee judged others as more generous and caring compared to those holding a cold cup. It's amazing how small, seemingly insignificant details can shape our perceptions. Consider the way marketers use colors to affect our moods. Blue often evokes feelings of trust and calmness, which is why many banks and tech companies use it in their branding. Conversely, Red is used to create a sense of urgency, which is why it's prevalent in clearance sales. Our subconscious mind processes these cues rapidly, making snap judgments that guide our behavior. Dr. Leonard Mladenow, in his book Subliminal, How Your Unconscious Mind Rules Your Behavior, emphasizes how we often underestimate the power of these hidden influences. Next time you make a quick decision, remember there might be more at play than you realize. Understanding this can help you become more mindful and make better choices. Chapter 2, Mirror, Mirror. The Fascinating Science of Mirroring Behavior. Have you ever noticed that you start to mimic someone's body language during a conversation? This is called mirroring, and it's a powerful social tool. When we mirror others, it creates a connection and builds rapport. Studies have shown that people who experience mirroring feel more understood and valued. For instance, in a study by Chartrand and Barg, 1999, Participants who were subtly mimicked by the experimenter reported liking the experimenter more. This is because mirroring triggers a subconscious sense of familiarity and trust. Mirroring isn't just about body language. It extends to speech patterns and tone of voice. Ever find yourself picking up an accent or slang when talking to someone? That's mirroring in action. It's our brain's way of creating social bonds. Tony Robbins, in his book Unlimited Power, discusses how mirroring can be used effectively in negotiations and leadership. By subtly reflecting the posture and speech of others, we can build rapport and influence outcomes positively. Chapter 3, The Halo Effect, When First Impressions Cloud Our Judgment. First impressions are powerful and often lasting. This is due to the halo effect, a cognitive bias where our overall impression of a person influences how we feel and think about their character. A classic example is how we perceive attractive people. Studies have shown that we tend to attribute positive traits like intelligence and kindness to them, even without any evidence. A study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology demonstrated that people rated photos of attractive individuals as more competent and trustworthy. This bias can significantly impact areas like hiring practices and jury decisions. Understanding the halo effect can help us make more objective judgments. Being aware of this bias means we can take a step back and evaluate individuals based on their actions and qualities rather than initial impressions. Malcolm Gladwell, in his book Blink, The Power of Thinking Without Thinking, explores how these quick judgments can be both beneficial and misleading. Remember, first impressions are formed quickly, but they don't always tell the whole story. By recognizing the halo effect, we can strive to look beyond appearances and make fairer assessments of those around us. Chapter 4, The Art of the Pause. How strategic silence can make you more persuasive. Did you know that sometimes, saying nothing can be more powerful than speaking? The art of the pause is a key tool in effective communication. A well-timed pause can emphasize a point, give the listener time to process information, and even convey confidence. According to research published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, pauses can increase perceived competence and trustworthiness. Think about it. Great speakers like Martin Luther King Jr. and Barack Obama use pauses masterfully. 
they know that silence can be just as impactful as words. In negotiations, a pause after a proposal can create a sense of urgency or make the other party feel compelled to fill the silence with a counteroffer. Author and communication expert, Dale Carnegie, in his book How to Win Friends and Influence People, highlights the power of listening more and speaking less. Pausing gives you a chance to listen actively and respond thoughtfully. So, next time you're in a conversation or presentation, remember the power of the pause. It can help you communicate more effectively and persuasively. Chapter 5, Hidden Biases, How Our Brains Shortcut Decision Making. Our brains are wired to take shortcuts, especially when making decisions. These shortcuts, or cognitive biases, help us make quick judgments but can also lead to errors. One common bias is the confirmation bias, where we seek out information that confirms our beliefs and ignore information that contradicts them. For example, a study by Stanford University found that people read articles that align with their existing views more thoroughly than those that oppose them. This can lead to polarized opinions and poor decision-making. Another interesting bias is the anchoring effect. This happens when we rely too heavily on the first piece of information we receive. For instance, if you see a sweater marked down from $100 to $50, you might think it's a great deal because of the original price, even if $50 is still too expensive. Daniel Kahneman, in his book Thinking, Fast and Slow, explains how these biases can affect everything from everyday choices to major decisions. By being aware of these biases, we can make more rational decisions. Recognizing our hidden biases is the first step towards overcoming them. Take a moment to question your initial judgments and consider other perspectives. This can lead to better, more balanced decisions. Chapter 6, The Power of Priming, How Subtle Stimuli Influence Our Thoughts. Priming is a fascinating psychological phenomenon where exposure to one stimulus influences our response to a subsequent stimulus. This can happen without us even realizing it. For example, if you read a list of words related to old age, you might walk more slowly afterward, a phenomenon demonstrated in a study by John Bard. Priming can affect everything from our mood to our behavior. Advertisers often use this technique to influence our purchasing decisions. Seeing images of happy families can make us more likely to buy products that we associate with happiness and comfort. In social interactions, priming can help set the tone. For instance, starting a meeting with positive news can create a more optimistic and collaborative atmosphere. Tony Robbins, in his book Awaken the Giant Within, talks about using priming techniques to set yourself up for success each day. Understanding priming can help you become more mindful of the subtle influences around you. By recognizing how priming works, you can take steps to control your environment and improve your mood and behavior. Chapter 7. Social Proof. Why we follow the crowd even when we shouldn't. Have you ever done something just because everyone else was doing it? This is called social proof, and it's a powerful psychological phenomenon. Social proof occurs when we assume that the actions of others reflect the correct behavior in a given situation. It's why we follow trends, from fashion to technology. A famous study by Solomon Ash demonstrated this effect. Participants were asked to match line lengths, and even when the answer was obvious, many conformed to the wrong choice given by the group. This shows how strong the influence of social proof can be, even against our better judgment. Marketers leverage social proof by showcasing customer reviews and testimonials. Seeing that others have had a positive experience makes us more likely to make a purchase. In his book Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, Robert Cialdini explains how social proof can be a powerful tool for persuasion. In social settings, understanding social proof can help us make more independent decisions. Instead of blindly following the crowd, take a moment to consider if the popular choice is the best one for you. This awareness can help you stand out and make choices that truly reflect your values and preferences. Chapter 8. The Scarcity Principle. Why we want what we can't have. Have you ever wanted something more just because it was hard to get? This is known as the scarcity principle. The idea is simple. Limited availability increases the desirability of an item. This principle is widely used in marketing. Phrases like, limited time offer, or, only a few left, trigger a sense of urgency and make us want the product more. A study by Workle, Lee, and Adewol in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that people rated cookies as more desirable when they were in short supply compared to when they were plentiful. This shows how scarcity can influence our perception of value. Understanding the scarcity principle can help you avoid impulse purchases. Next time you see a limited time offer, ask yourself if you truly need the item or if you're just being swayed by its perceived scarcity. 
In his book Predictably Irrational, Dan Ariely discusses how recognizing these triggers can lead to more rational decisions. Recognizing the scarcity principle at play can help you make more deliberate choices, ensuring you're not just chasing something because it seems rare. It's a powerful reminder to assess what you truly value. Chapter 9, The Paradox of Choice, How Having Too Many Options Leads to Decision Paralysis. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by too many choices? This is the paradox of choice, where having too many options can actually make it harder to choose and can lead to decision paralysis. In a famous study by psychologists Sheena Iyengar and Mark Lepper, shoppers were more likely to purchase jam when offered six choices rather than 24. The extensive choice made them less likely to make a decision. Having too many options can lead to increased anxiety and dissatisfaction. Barry Schwartz, in his book The Paradox of Choice, Why More is Less, explains how too many choices can lead to regret and decreased satisfaction with our decisions. We start to second-guess ourselves, wondering if we made the right choice. To combat decision paralysis, try simplifying your choices. Limit the number of options you consider and focus on what's most important to you. Creating criteria for your decisions can also help. This approach can lead to more satisfying and confident choices. Understanding the paradox of choice can improve your decision-making process. By simplifying choices and focusing on your priorities, you can reduce anxiety and increase satisfaction with your decisions. It's about finding balance and making decisions that align with your values.